Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Sunday, the 1st of September, and I just got out of the shower, ready for this event I'm going to for work tonight, and I started looking at my paramedic bag that I'll be taking to class and to clinicals with me, and I thought it would be a good idea just to go through it, show you guys what's in it, maybe get some ideas from you, give you some ideas, maybe you're going into nursing, paramedic like I am, or maybe you're already working as an EMT, or um, anything like that. So here we go. So to start, I got this bag right here. And it's pretty big. I got it from Walmart, I believe. I think I got everything from there because, let's be honest. And then, I think it was about $30 and it was really big. That's why I liked it. And it has room for every single thing I need in it. And then, let's see. To start to put in the little bag for classes, I have two packs of note cards because I go through these like crazy, especially when it comes to pharmacology. And for this medic class, you have to know twice, if not three times the amount that you had to know for the EMT basic class. And then second, I got all of these pens. I got two of my favorite kind of pens. One is a lot more bold than the other one, which I like, especially when it comes to charting. I have two pencils because even though you don't use them that often in medicine, I mean, you never know. And then I got these little sticky tabs, post-it sticky note things that I really like to section off my books with when it comes to studying and different things like that. And then for clinicals, I got this because we use these all the time at work for paperwork and just different things like that and let's see for this one yeah it does open like this this is the top part i believe and it, you can put your paperwork in here and i like to put my paperwork that is already done in there so that way i don't have to worry about it and then this is where i keep my ipad and papers that i'm going to need in the future Simply for the fact that I like to have my charts done before I leave work so I don't have to worry about them within the 24 to 48 hours that they give you to do them. Second, I have this accordion folder and in it has all of the stuff that I need to give to my instructor when my medic class starts in about a week and a half to the parking permit for the school, um, just different things like that. And that will also be what I use for notes that we take in class that won't fit in my um, notebook and probably for important like handouts that he gives us for each section or she. And then this is my notebook for the actual class, which before every class I take, I like to write what it's for, the dates, mm, and then I write down the expectations I have for myself in the class, which I will finish those once I know exactly what we'll be learning. So that way I can kind of tailor my expectations of myself for the class to each section that we'll be learning. Let's see. And then, of course, I love planners. I probably have three or four of these at home. But it just says make it happen and this was perfect because it spans throughout the whole class so it literally goes from September of this year all the way to June of next year which is perfect because that's exactly how long my class lasts. And then I'll probably use it just like my academic planner that I use that's just like this where and this part I'll write down the major things like clinical dates things like that and then in the different sections that it gives you like this I'll write each individual thing that's due when it's due when I'm gonna do it and yeah it helps me stay organized and keeps me together and then next I just got gum because I'm a big gum chewer I don't like to talk to patients with coffee breath or anything like that I think it's nasty and I wouldn't want it done to me so let's see 
And then lastly, I have the little bit of supplies that I need for this, which I mean, a lot of it I already have because I work as a basic right now, so it's pretty self-explanatory, but I have this cute little clinical book that my dad got me for my birthday this past year, and it's blank inside, which I'll probably get myself some more because I'll probably go through like three or four of these because we have to have 600 clinical hours to pass the class. Ooh, that's a lot. And then next I got this little pen light and and it tells you i really like it because it tells you the pupil gauge on it um and how big they are because as a medic that is something that is in our scope of practice that we can document i'm not sure if it is as a basic but and then next i don't use this at work because for some reason stethoscopes go missing all the time and even though this wasn't one of the really 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 expensive Littman stethoscopes it was still a hundred dollars so I don't want it to go missing and I want to be able to use it for a long time to come and then the last thing that I have is the this pair of trauma shears that a kid whenever I went to high school actually gave me whenever he found out I was going into EMT basic school after graduation so yeah I keep these because even though they're inexpensive I don't want to lose them because it's still money I don't want to waste on buying stuff I already have let's see and then last I have three hair bows that I keep because I like to put my hair in like this military bun that one of my friends taught me how to do so I keep those in here just in case because most of the time I wear my hair like this but then sometimes I just want it up and out of my face and yeah just out and that's about it that I have in here there's still a couple more things that I want to get like some badge reels um, and I think that's about it but yeah comment down below like comment subscribe what you think I should add what I should take out and if this helped you at all I hope to see you next time.